Right now, this is one of our better views, and it's overcast and gloomy, even on the Bayfront Inn in Naples, where they still have visibility somewhere between 8 and 10 miles there, kind of depending upon your location and call your county. North of there, Glades, Henry, Lee, and Charlotte, it's a much different picture, and you can see the difference. Naples, 8, Golden Gate, 7, 10, and Marco, and then you're down less than a mile in many locations. From Fort Myers across uh, the river all the way up to Punta Gorda, you start getting into some thicker fog this morning, where it's down to an eighth of a mile in Port Charlotte. So this fog is going to take an hour or two to mix out and then we're going to see the clouds and some sunshine break through later on today. But it is causing quite a bit of trouble out there on the road. Temperatures this morning, upper 60s to low 70s and our dew point values are sitting here near 70. The high humidity and the calm winds are the recipe for fog and you can see the winds are fairly light, less than five miles per hour across the board and throughout the day we'll see in five to ten. That's it. It's not going to be nearly as breezy as we have seen for a majority of the week. Now, the radar is painting a few thunderstorms here near the Space Coast as the low is moving away and a few showers way offshore that will not be an issue for us here today. So as we look at the afternoon, we'll see those clouds start to break a little. Drier air will start to move in out of the northwest later today and especially overnight. And that's going to set the stage for a really nice weekend. Now, we still need some rain almost 12 inches behind here year to date, but some really good news after the rain. Wednesday, we're running a surplus for the month, which historically is one of our driest. Now, the setup still has this low off the east coast and another low in the southern parts of the Gulf. That one's going south. This one's going north, so we're going to be right in the middle. And what that means for us is our winds start more north and eventually northwest today. And by Saturday, humidity starts to drop. And by Sunday afternoon, it's all sunshine. It's very dry. It's very comfortable. And that means our rain chances here over the weekend is many of you start a long Thanksgiving holiday. They're near zero. By Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, we'll start to see a slight jump in rain chances. That's because we've got yet another cold front on the horizon. This one has slowed down a little bit. And right now, my thinking is it's going to be here late Wednesday into Thursday. That could bring us some showers there midweek. And that's going to set up for a much cooler turkey day with high temperatures up only around 74 degrees.